Hi and welcome to the December energy update. I'm about to pull a bunch of oracle cards to see what these energies or what the what spirit wants to tell us about this month of December, uh, which is going to be a crazy month regarding all that's going on in the world and especially within the United States. So let's just see what spirit wants to tell us about all of this. <laughs> If you're new to my channel, I'm Linda Armstrong. I'm an energy healer and a spiritual awakening coach. And um, my website is lovemylife.coach. So if you want to find out any information about what I do, you can go right there to my website. Um, but I want to get right to this reading because it could, I pulled out five decks. It could take a while. And uh, let's let's just see, <laughs> see what happens. So we'll start out with, uh, I already shuffled these up, but I'll give it one more quick shuffle and then I'll pick a card. Uh, I'm going to pick a card from the Angel Guide. This is a Kyle Gray book. And it's Listen Deeply. Okay, let's see if we can get that light out of there. Listen Deeply. Hmm. All right, let's see what the message is for Listen Deeply. Uh, where's my glasses? Here they are. All right. So we can assume what this means. But let's just see, uh, you know, what, what Spirit wants us to know. So it says, angels are sending you guidance and inspiration through your powerful and resonant inner voice. Be ready to listen to that voice now. Listen to yourself. If you aren't able to hear yourself, you'll be blocking your connection to the information, insight, and guidance that can support you in going forward. If you've been ignoring or avoiding dealing with something you feel that you've had to do for a long time, your angels are encouraging you to stop. Listen to yourself and do it now. Your expansion and growth depend on it. If you've received challenging information recently about your life from any source and you are unsure whether to believe it or not, this card assures you that it's a pivotal, that it is pivotal, pivotal, pivotal <laughs> to unfold to the unfolding of your freedom and your joy. So listen deeply. So yeah. I mean, I'll, there's more to the message, but we've been all throughout this whole year really going within, finding what our truth is, listening to our guidance, right? Um, deepening that connection because now's the time. Like we're all moving out of this 3rd D to 5D and really what you want to be able to hear is what you know, what you feel to be true within, within you. You can sense it. You can feel it regarding anything you may not think so but really regarding anything so the extended message is the whispers of your inner voice are subtle and it takes patience and willingness to hear them often this voice can seem intensely honest and direct but that's because it wants us to home to home in on our truth in order to grow yep it's really 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 important right now and, you know, one way you know if something's true is it'll always make you feel lighter, more open, more expanded, whereas something that's false will really have you feel uh, icky, <laughs> contracted, heavy. You know, you have to see how that, find how it feels for you, for what's light and what's heavy, what's true and what's false. Okay, so it says, um, where was I? Okay. Often we don't like the truth the inner voice is giving us and refuse to listen. But we're all, we are all doing, what we're doing is blocking the guidance that's coming forward to us. Yeah, so sometimes you don't want to hear the truth. It's true, right? Sometimes you really, even if you know it, you don't want to hear it. You don't, almost like you don't want confirmation of it. Um, but it says the truth of the matter is that our inner voice is always working in our favor. And divine guidance is always loving and supportive. It will be direct and insightful, but won't make us feel low, right? Because the truth always feels lighter. If you're unsure what is what information is guidance and what is based on fear and ego, call the angels to help them to help you to hear and understand the information that's rising up within you. And again, you can feel that because it doesn't feel right. Something doesn't feel right. It feels heavy. 
You can also invite them in to clear old messages so that you can have more space energetically for guidance that is relevant to this present moment. So really listening deeply, paying attention to what it is you're getting. Now, in some cases, you might just know it and feel great about it. But in other cases, you might actually be denying yourself the truth because you don't, it's not necessarily the truth that you thought it would be, right? But, you know, sometimes spirit gives us what we need moreover than what we want because spirit really knows truly what your mission is here and, and what the purpose of whatever's going on in your life at this time is. So you want to pay attention to that, you know? Let me mix these up a little because these, these can go like right side up, upside down um, for the message. Okay, let's do that. All right, so let's see. This one's the uh, Enchanted Map. Let's see what the Enchanted Map is telling us. Okay. So I got upside down, stuck in the mud. <laughs> stuck in the mud, only we got it reversed. So here's the upright. Okay, it's a big elephant stuck in the mud with a little tiny bird on his back. All right, let's see what that one is all about. Number 24 in the reverse, and it is telling us. So stuck in the mud is about you're being invited to stop and savor the wonder of your life. Okay, so in the reverse position, it wants us to know. When this card's reversed, it reminds you that you're stuck due to your obstinate desire to get what you want when and how you want it. See, that could be going to what I was saying in the other card, like you'll, spirit will give you what you need. So sometimes you wanna ask for what you need rather than what you want. But anyway, perhaps it's uncomfortable to admit that the course of action you've chosen for yourself isn't right for you now at this time. Even so, you have a choice. You can struggle in the mud and get nowhere or take a moment to observe where you are and then step out, wash away the dirt, dry off, and find other things to do. A much better adventure awaits you. You'll know when it's time to embark upon it. Mmm, wow. So for me, that's really speaking to what's going on these days and how the truth is coming out. And some people don't want to hear it, don't want to look at it, don't want to admit to it. But it's all coming out. And it's coming out for our highest good so that we can move forward and really truly be free to live our lives the way we know it ought to be. Not the way someone might tell us how we have to live our life, right? And uh, so it's all about freedom here. Oh, love yourself. Okay, we don't have to say much more about that, right? Love yourself. Maybe honor yourself too. And... I would say that speaks directly to this card about going within, like deep within and listening to what is your truth, right? And taking the time out to love yourself enough to hear it, even if you it's not the truth that you want to hear, or even if it's um, not the way you thought things would play out. Um, it's more, it's actually, as you love yourself and you go within and you tap into that truth of yours, you actually start to um, find faith and trust that there is a bigger plan for humanity, for you individually. And as you really just connect with that love of yourself, that love that is within you, and then I would go as far as even just continually Pulling in, I do this a lot, right? I've got videos on it. Just pulling in love and sending it out to the world, to particular people, to particular situations. It doesn't matter what it is. The more love you can send out, the better. So these days, I'd say, let's send love to the planet. That's what I'm doing. The planet and everything living on it so that we can move into this space that is for our highest good, that helps humanity as a whole move forward into freedom and joy um yeah all right so this is wisdom of the avalon let's see what it says wisdom of avalon burden hmm 
Number 43. Okay, that doesn't matter which way you looked at it. Although I did look at it in reverse. But it says, what burdens are you carrying on this part of your journey? Are you transporting those of others out of generosity or codependency? Is this burden so heavy that it slows you down? This marker, this card coming up right now for you, ask that you stop and look at your responsibilities, your commitments, and all that you bring with you on your journey. Are you clinging to an unhealthy relationship out of fear? Are you taking on the burden of others to prevent them from getting hurt? Do you know that this enables others to avoid learning their life lessons and doesn't really help at all? <sighs> yeah. Drawing this marker encourages you to release others to their own path. See, that's really important now because if we're going to go in and, and work with our own truth and see what's true for us, you really need, I'd say, yeah, need to allow yourself to contribute all of that to you, right? And, and stop trying to um, fix other people or change other people. Or take on their stuff in an attempt to make their life easier. Because that's what they're saying. You know, they'll miss the, the, the lesson there. And guess what? You might make their life easier right now, but they'll just recreate something else to be back in that same energetic um, programming and vibration so that they themselves can go in, do the deep work and come out the other side, um, moving towards what it is that is for their highest good. Yeah. So that's hard to look at, especially when people that you love are going through something hard. You want to take it away from them, but better just to flood them with love. Just keep sending them love. Even if they live on the other side of the planet, you know, uh, even if you're not on speaking terms, doesn't matter what it is. You know that there's something going on. You just, just really shine light on it because that's what it is. Light, love, it's all the same. We're just shining light. That's what's happening in the universe right now. We're shining so much light that any lower vibration, any more negative energy uh, is coming up to the surface and being unraveled and dissipated and blasted apart. Right? The evil can no longer exist. It's not in the cards. It really isn't. Right? We're meant to live from love. So this says, drawing this marker encourages you to release others to their own path. It may also be time for you to ask if you're helping others because you like being needed. Ah. If the answer is yes, then the message is truly to let go of this burden for it's born of self-centeredness. Release the burden of others to the divine. They also have their own angels and guides, just as you do. Trust that there's a divine plan for all. Yeah, it's really just getting into that faith and that trust, knowing that everything is working out as it's supposed to, as it's meant to. And the more that all of us can just keep shining light, sharing love, that that's really the best thing that we can do. You might think, well, what's that doing? I'm sitting here in my room. I'm sending love to the world. What, what, what What's it doing? <laughs> big deal. No, it is a big deal. Because the more and more of us that do that and join in that sending of love, we are lifting the vibration. We just are. Because the more you shine light, the more you shine love, those darker energies have to fall apart, dissipate, kind of just get blasted away within the light. The, they can't survive in the light. The light heals all. Okay. So it says, On the sacred path to Avalon, you must be aware that you pack all the essential wisdom tools that you will need to chart your course. Integrity, kindness, compassion, discernment, discretion, faith, forgiveness, truth, and love are but some of this, but only some of them, right? There's more to it than that, but those are like, that, that's enough right there. Just work with those. Once your tools are counted, see if the rest of what you're hanging on to is appropriate, right? So as you start working with those different tools, as you start shining love on all of that, see what else you might be hanging on to and if it feels appropriate or right or true for you to hold on to it or to work with it or to um, see what 
comes next with that. Anyway, it goes on to say, this is the time to leave behind any unnecessary burdens and to know that you have the strength to carry what is yours. So yeah, it's really, really about tuning in. Because we can't possibly know what's right for another person. We could have ideas. We could know that something will make their life easier. But, you know, like I said a few minutes ago, we make their life easier. And then they, then something else will come up to bring them to that same place so that they can clear that energy and learn that lesson um, in order to move into more love and freedom within themselves. Right? Yeah. Here, love yourself, right? Love yourself. Okay, stuck in the mud. We don't want to be stuck. We want to be free. We want to keep moving forward in our life. We want to listen deeply to the messages Spirit's giving us because Spirit's always giving us messages. I bet you everyone watching this video is getting tons of messages through repetitive numbers, through synchronistic events. And now what I want to do is I'm going to choose a spirit animal that we can work with for this month. So we'll see what message the spirit animal wants to give us. And again, these cards can be, there's a message for the upright when you view it or in reverse position. So let's see what we have here. And we get upside down canary spirit. And it says, sing your own song. All right, sing your own song. Number 12. Okay, but I think I said it was upside down, right? So let's see. 12, 12, 12. Okay, sing your own song. So in the reverse, it says, are you suppressing your true voice? Perhaps trying to sing the song you think people want to hear instead of your own. See, it's all about listening deeply, finding your own truth. Um, you create a cage around your life when you express only what you think will help you fit in to get what you think you want. Are you hiding the real you? Telling a safe story about yourself to others because you're afraid they will think you are too different. If they knew the truth, Canary Spirit comes to help you to express yourself in a more honest and authentic way. Yes, not everyone will agree with you. In fact, not everyone will want to hear your originality or accept your uniqueness. No, not everyone's going to want to hear it. You must not give this a single care. There'll be plenty of people, opportunities, and wonderful new experiences that arrive as if by magic, once you open your own cage door and fly free. Canary Spirit is cheering for you and wants you to know you are safe and loved. Find your voice and have the courage to spread your wings and sing out loud. The world needs your true song. Yes, what a perfect card to wrap it all up. And it goes right to the listen deeply. Find your truth, right? Love yourself enough to stick to your truth and don't Go off and give your power away to other people, other things outside of you, right? Unstick yourself from that mud, you know, move forward. Whatever was dragging you down or whatever you were creating doubt and fear and all that, even pretend to look past it. Be like, all right, so what if, and then what if the opposite of what it is that's pulling you down, right? Yeah, I'm not even going to go into giving examples because this video is going to get way too long. But I'm sure that the people watching this video know exactly what to do, know exactly what I mean, what these cards are telling you. So it's the closeout December of this year, 2020. This year of inner vision, of deeper vision, of seeing the truth in all aspects within ourselves, within our community, within our world. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. It feels scary, but it's really pretty exciting. So if you can just shift yourself into an energy of the what if. So what if, no matter what craziness happens, especially the rest of this month of December, what if everything is actually happening for the highest good of me, the highest good of my family, the highest good of the planet? What if? It's easier to feel that, right? You're not putting any absolutes on it. You're just asking a question. And the more questions you ask of the universe, 
the easier your answers come because you get out of your head by trying to figure it all out on your own. Listen within deeply. Ask your angels and guides for messages. Pay attention when you see synchronistic things. Look up the numbers that you see that are repeating all the time. Look up the animals that come across your way, right? I had deer in my yard yesterday. I had wild turkeys the day before. Like, look up the messages. They're, they're bringing them to you. Certain birds might come your way. Like, I love looking at nature, numbers, because I get a lot of signs that way. And just synchronistic events, right? Maybe you just said something or you dreamt something, and then someone outside of you, you come in contact with, tells you the same exact thing. Well, that's spirit letting you know, yes, this message is true for you. Pay attention to this one. There's so many ways, so many things. I would say, be the creator that you are. Open up to the many different possibilities and allow the magic to come in as we close out this year and move into the next. I can't wait to see what January wants to bring us. So for now, just wishing you lots of love always. And uh, of course, subscribe, like, share, um, comment below. I'd love to hear your comments and I'll see you on the next video.